Hey, Katie, there is a major puppy personality on this floor. We've got Gigi, a King Charles Spaniel who thinks she's a princess and likes to play hide and seek, going against Muffin, a strong and silent Basenji who doesn't bark. So today's competition is between the ultra chic and the unspoken. But only one is going to be today's top alpha dog. But talk to me over here. What was going on? You guys had been a little too much strategizing together. <laughs> I guess she must have really liked the other dog and went over to go visit because she was going crazy at the start line. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are good, Maggie. You're just so darn cute. Everybody wants a piece of you. Let's check out that replay. <laughs> so, Kenny, we're here at the City Walk Boat Launch for the second round of competition. Today it is the Aqua Launch. Now, this is where our specialty dogs join up with the apprentice dogs in their quest to become the Alpha Dog Champion. Our two Alpha Dogs will literally take a flying leap off the dock in an attempt to achieve the longest jump. It's the best out of three, and the dog that can jump the furthest will win 100 points for his team. First up for the Zig team is a four and a half year old retriever named Jazz. Handler Carol Davis starts Jazz, Jazz. and he is off to a strong run down the dock. Oh, good flying through the air. You know, we should say that Jazz is an environmentalist. In fact, he's featured on posters for Earth Day with a sign that says, please pitch in, if they'd only seen him jump like that. Look at that, head held high, excellent way to start this competition. Oh, 19 feet is a strong start for the Zig team. They get three jumps each. Let's see how the Zag team does, and Barkley is off. Oh. Very nice, but Barkley ran to one side of the runway, launching off the wooden part of the dock. As you can see, her paws actually touch the wooden part of the dock, and that could, in fact, affect her distance. She keeps her head held high, and let's see how well she did. 16.5 feet! Ooh, not quite as good as Jazz, but they each get two more turns. All right, Jazz up for the Zig team. Second jump. Very nice launch and a clean jump, but you know what? It doesn't look as strong as his first one. Oh, he doesn't look as happy. Let's check out the replay. All right, Jazz bounds down the ramp with a lot of enthusiasm, but takes off just a little bit early, and that is going to affect his distance. I think our poor Jazz hit a sour note on this one, but it's still the best out of three. All right, 17 feet, a little shy of his first jump, but Jazz is still in the lead. And there goes Barkley, who apparently likes to jump off the side of the dock. Now that little misdirection may cost Barkley some distance. Let's check out the replay. And sure enough, there's Barkley completely off the mat and falling a little bit short. Not a very good extension on this jump at all. That's a good jump for the Zag team. Barkley tied Jazz's last jump, but it is it good enough to win? Here goes Jazz for his third time. Beautiful, beautiful jump. Fast launch down the runway and high. Let's see the replay. All right, in slow motion, we can see that Jazz gets pretty good height from this launch, but he lost his altitude quickly and his head slipped beneath the water. Looks like, oh, he's got a mouthful of water. <laughs> I don't think it's his best jump. All right, so going into the final round, Zig is ahead, 19 feet. Now, Barkley, baby, you are named for Charles Barkley. Yes, that is a guy who knows how to jump. Can you beat 19 feet? Don't shake your head, no, you can do it. Come on, can he do it? Yes. 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 Well, that speaking means I think he wants to do it. Look at the determination. Can he beat 19 feet? like a pretty good jump. In fact, I think it's the best of three for Barkley so far. Let's see the replay. Well, there he is on the mat. Beautiful extension. This dog wants to win, but is that jump good enough? You guys have a jump up. Did you believe he got 19 feet? I didn't see that coming. Congratulations, Barkley. You guys each get one jump each. Are you ready? Yes, and come on, say something. Oh, wait. I think he 
It's impressive when the competitors tell you they want to win. All right, the bumper's in the water, and Jazz is off! The end of the dark. This is a good, good jump off beginning. Nice, strong jump for Jazz. Let's see the replay, see how far he jumped. Nice extension, good push off from the hind legs. I think he really wants to win. Beautiful. Now that's what Jazz jumped before. That's what tied up this competition in the first place. And that's why we're in a jump off right now. Can Barkley do even better? My handler Terry starts a very anxious Barkley. And Barkley is off the end of the dock. Ooh. But is that jump good enough to beat Jazz's 19 feet? Let's see the instant replay here. And in slow motion, we see that Barkley doesn't quite extend as far as she did when she got 19 feet last time. So let's see what the officials have to say. Barkley only got 18.5, which means you are the winner. Oh, Unbelievable. Yeah. You know, we had a little conversation before. You knew you were going to win, didn't you? Yeah. It's hot, and he couldn't wait to get out there. Now tell me, what do you think he's actually jumping for? He just loves it so much. He just absolutely loves it. No fantasies of a, another cute dog way out there? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> you guys did a great win. Now, yeah. Barkley, I got to say, great run. How'd you feel about that? Well, not interested. You know, you don't win. You just don't want to, you don't pay attention. Shame on you. <laughs> All right, you guys, this was a, an amazing jump off. They're great dogs. Kenny, back to you. Good job, Jazz. You pick up the 100 points, and Gigi's Zig team takes the lead with 175. Muffin, you trail by only 25 points. But hey, you got one more round to take back the lead in the Lost City. It's coming up. Oh, we are. We're having a major conference here. Yes? Okay. Oh, you think it's good? Okay. Well, I just heard some strategy going on. You only have 150. You have 175. I have to tell you, Jazz did really well for you in round two. Are you going to do good? Yeah? Yeah, this is a big competition coming up. The Lost City. Let's open those gates. And the finish podium for Muffin and the time for the Zag team. Forbes. Oh, Kenny. Now, Maggie did one of those moves I've never seen before. She sat on the pinnacle and just kind of wiggled. It was very cute. She's snorting at me. All right, now, Spritzer, a couple things happened. What was going on? Well, Spritzer was just sort of thinking maybe she wanted her mama. I think so. Now, Muffin, you looked a little toasted out there. Let's check out the replay. You had a good run, didn't you, babe? Mm, yes. And then my little Gigi. What was going on on the wave poles? Well, I think she had a visitor. Gigi just, I think she didn't see him. You didn't you see him there? I, you had some company, it's okay. Gigi had some company. I know, well, you yeah. know what? Let's go check out some replays. Oh, <laughs> no. yes, now, sir. Patricia, I've got right. Muffin here. Where did Muffin's name come from? Muffin, um, I have a boy, Basinji, at home named Mischief, and I wanted them to be M&M, so I called her Muffin. All right, let's get some scores. Going to take a look at the scoreboard here. After the Lost City, you saw the total, the Zig team with 375. That does not include the 175-point yeah. bonus, hey, which we awarded the team with the least number of penalties through the three events. All right, the officials have conferred. We have a tie, four penalties for each team. There's your final tally. Oh. Hey, Gigi, you are the new Muffin, Alpha Dog good, Champion. Yes, come on up here, Gigi, get that gold in Alpha Dog Dollar. Hey, Alpha Dog Champs, come on out here and say hello. Show them that pretty face. There you go, hey, there we go. All right, there she goes with the golden collar. I'm Kenny Sargent. And I'm Forbes Ryder, we'll see you guys again next time. Bye-bye.